Hello, Professor Bright here, and welcome back to Convoy. Once again, we are going to be going after the Bottle Cap mission. Now, we last time found the privateer princess, Rhiannon, and we decided, you know what? Let's give her a second chance, because she has a tank! And I do love me some tanks. They are the best escort, as far as I can tell. Oh dear. This entire urban area has been recently massacred. The streets are covered in blood and bodies. The raiders are evidently in control of this area. That they are. Look for survivors. Despite your efforts, all you find is more horrendous scenes of carnage. I mean, when does that get fun? Really? I just don't... Mm, not okay with that. The signal is coming from garage... From garage situated here in the desert. Mm. Well, in any case, a broken down neon sign reads Caesar's Chop Shop. Let's investigate it. Upon heading inside, you spot a gray haired man. He's busy disassembling parts left and right, whilst bobbing his head and drumming on whatever he's got his hands on to a rhythm only he can hear. Sounds pretty catchy. Let's shoot him. Talk to him, rather. I like how I can just shoot whoever I find. That's kind of nice. Caesar looks up at your approach and says, New face, welcome, what can I do for you? Give me a reason not to kill you, or let's just talk business. Running a chop shop here, talking business is easy. I got vehicles. You got vehicles, rather. I got parts. I scrap armor, it's what I do best. Tickling look at the stuff you got outside, I can probably use some of it. You have a deal, yeah? Um, I mean, is that going to strip all of my armor off for 85 parts? Because that wouldn't... Would that be profitable? I don't know. Let's find out. Scrap the armor for 85 parts. Ooh, that took out all my armor. Okay, so that's 85 parts. Where's the nearest camp? I want to test this. Yes, yeah, the one up there. Okay. I'm curious if that was actually profitable. Camp? Repair costs five parts. Four, five, six. It doesn't look like it was. Looks like that was a bad choice. Yeah, that was definitely a bad choice. Oh well. Bound to happen eventually. I was bound to make that decision. Really. What other choice did I have? No, no, no. Oh dear. Oh, hello. This desolate city seems eerily quiet. What do we got in terms of trouble? Not appear it's, it does not appear to rear its ugly head as you manage to traverse the city safely. Great! So let's see about these bottle caps. We need to get back to Earth, man. Bottle caps must be making you mad. There's absolutely nothing at this location. Mm. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna run out of fuel. Ah, uh, I ran out of fuel. Your frustration regarding your out-of-fuel predicament grows. Stomping around furiously, you kick against the side of your main convoy vehicle. Stupid pile of rust. Panel breaks off, revealing exposed wires and circuitry. If only there had been a hidden cache of fuel in there. But that'd be ridiculous, except it's happened already. Hmm... You've been stranded without fuel for quite some time when one of your engineers approaches you. Let's hear it. He takes you away from the others and tells you that he might be able to create some biofuel made out of the crew. There's no guarantee it'll work, but it's your best shot right now. That is immoral and crazy. I'll do it. You contemplate who should be sacrificed. In the end, you manage to compile a list of non-essential personnel. After rounding them up, you shoot them without any further thought. You execute them on fake charges of mutiny and tell the engineer to get to work. As you watch him get to it, you quietly wonder if he's getting some kind of sick satisfaction from the whole ordeal. But 33 fuel! I'm okay with that! Hmm. We could execute the engineer who figured that out. Yeah. Nobody else on my crew will ever learn of what I had to do. 
Okay, variety of Torvac vehicles gathered here. Appears to be some sort of exposition. Okay. How about I expose you to my weapons? I like it. I like it. I'm just... I'm in the right place to do that. Plus, this way I can test out Rhiannon's uh, little rocket artillery. So let's see how that is. Mm, mediocre. Oh. Duh. Come on. Which one of you is the enemy? You see, the problem is now I can't tell which one's the enemy and which one isn't. Because they all look alike. I'm trying to make sure that that wasn't racist, but I mean, it can't be because, you know, it's just a tank. You can't be racist against a tank. Okay, okay, okay. Let's uh, back up. There we go. And that's you dead. More fuel, more parts. Wonderful. And I found a heavy rail gun out of that. So, okay. Do these do damage to armor? They do. Mmm. That reload time, though. I'll check back when we find a camp again. I am going to get these bottle caps. I'm giving myself one last episode to find these bottle caps. <sighs> Big, re Big red barrel in the middle of the road. Uh, what's inside it? Hey, 16 fuel. Good. Glad I didn't shoot it. Big red barrels. Typically they explode, so I was like, hmm, that seems like a bad idea. Here it goes. Another hermit. <sighs> Look. I think that quest is just going to go on forever. I'll give it one more. Oh, blood splatter vehicles come racing down towards you. Your transmitter picks up. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Uh, the orcs. Yes, Captain. Now, let's see here. Um, I'm good with that. You can attack that. You attack that. Actually, you're going to go back here and attack that. You're going to attack that one. And you, you're going to attack that one while I stun, and then shoot it. Ah, I missed. Shoot, I didn't know that was an option. Um, yeah, if you could just ram that, right? really doing some damage to my MCV. Not okay with that. And I keep forgetting I don't need direct line of sight with that. Oh, yeah. oh, if I could stun that. Oh. That would be just about perfect. Everybody attack that guy. Very good. Now, as soon as this thing ends, he's dead. Oh, I might not even have to do anything. Come on. And nope. You're stunned now. Have fun. Bye bye Got myself a buzzsaw as well. Okay. So yeah, I definitely should go back to a camp, because we got a full inventory of stuff. Oh, nearest camps. Mm. We'll go to Mercury. Why not? I mean, we have 50 fuel. Oh, wait. I can't sell things out there, can I? Shoot. Let's find out. Just make sure. I can sell things here. Now, do I want to? That's the question. These don't do any armor damage at all, so I would say... Mm, Hmm. These don't either. These do, but not very much. 
I don't think this does any either. No. So I'm inclined to say railguns for you. Not a railgun. There we go. And I'm inclined to give up on the buzzsaw. Mm. Yeah, I'll give up on the buzzsaw. Every rocket artillery I might keep just for now. Because you never know. Might find a better use for it. And actually, while I'm here, let me upgrade a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean max out this guy. Confirm. Monkey 1 is as good as he can get. Everybody needs repairs, though. And we are good to go. All right. All right, let's go to those bottle caps. It's just a hundred kilometers away. Spot what looks to be a huge swarm of locusts. Keep going. Wonderful. Okay. I was like, ooh, locusts. Not good. I don't know what they'd be eating, because as far as I can tell... Well, I don't know that this is all desert. But... Ah, uh, hmm. Oh? Found a man who claims to be a collector of oddities. Does he collect bottle caps? Son of a bitch. And that's the end of it. Suppress the rage. Suppress the rage. Only so many ways to describe sand, and at this point you ran out of them. Okay. Oh. Okay. Seems to be a hulking figure. Wears makeshift plate mail out of spare parts. Carrying a massive exhaust pipe as a lance. And steering wheel as a shield. A steering wheel will not work as a shield. I don't think. Actually it might. Because you have the tough... No, no, wait. That's insane. Anyhow, as you approach, he adopts a defensive stance and shouts, Have at thee, servant of the dragon. Let's try to calm him down. Eventually, you manage to calm him down, although he doesn't seem any less delirious. He explains he's the last remaining knight of the Order of the Wheel on a quest to defeat the legendary dragon. Sounds legit. Having set out many years ago, he is nearing the infamous Dragon Lair and will free the world from the terror once and for all. Let's help him. Why not? Fellow champions, I knew I would find like-hearted people eventually. The man has given you the coordinates of the presumed Dragon Cave before being ushered to your medical bay. Um... Here be dragons. They're all in the same direction, so I think we will head down. And give it a go. Come on. And oh. Hmm. Try to evade the mines. Wonderful. I'm gonna go here because we're running low on fuel again. Radio picks up chatter. Okay, men, they'll drive by any moment now. Radio silence until they're here. Let's turn that ambush around. Hey. Let's wreck some faces. Um, okay, how do we want to pull this off? We're gonna launch that at you. You were gonna stun and just have everybody hey. fire on it. Oh, someone's got a something or other. They've got uh, quite a few weapons, which yep, seem yep. very dangerous to me. Okay. Uh, hmm. Gonna have to take that out. Can't allow it. Cannot allow. Sorry. You guys aren't allowed to be that tough. You have some fun over there. You take that out. Take that out. Let me stun it. 
Should deal with it pretty effectively. Uh, ooh. shoot, 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 shoot. Come on, go. Oh. Ram it. Okay. Ooh, boy. Find some loot in the wrecks. 17 fuel, 55 parts, and nobody's getting ambushed here in the future. Wonderful. So, about this dragon cave of yours. It's 50 kilometers off-road. Mmm. Mmm. Not a fan of that. Oh, sweet. Heavy railgun buried in the sand. Don't know why that would be, but okay. Oh, boy. An enormous roar shakes you up as you near the supposed dragon cave. Err. Uh, two ominous red lights appear in the distance. The Knight of the Order of the Wheel t runs out of your MCV, lands and shield at the ready, and starts charging towards it. The day of your reckoning is nigh. He's gonna die. The red lights come closer, and it actually is a dragon. I don't know how this is gonna end. Let's attack it. It is an actual dragon. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, do what we can to take it out. Okay, uh, first of all, stun it. And rail gun it. Okay, everybody, get on that dragon. And you, why are you not getting in range? Come on. Oh, shoot, there's more of them. Okay, uh, ooh boy. Did not expect that. Um, okay, you go back here, because I need to take out what's trying to take out my MCV. Um, shoot. I remember the last time I lost a ship this way. Not a ship. Escort. You know what I mean. Okay, come on. You back there. My, uh... Yeah, that's not gonna do anything for me. Unless I can do this. Oh! Had I known, that would have been very useful. Um... Let's keep trying to take that out. Uh, oh, boy. Um, maybe have you go back here. Yeah, have you go back there and take that out. Have you ram that. You can ram that. You get out of there. And okay, okay. Oh boy. Um, you take that thing out for me. Okay, good. Stun that because it's doing some damage. Okay, good. And have you take that out? Good, good, good. Not losing anybody today. Not today, my friends. Not today. Um, can I can I actually just throw it in front of the Yeah! I think it's got some range on it. Uh guy, I need you to move. Uh, oh no 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 no. Okay. Ooh, and you can go up as well. Alright, we should have the dragon done shortly. There it goes. And there we go. Kill the dragon. With the final explosion, the dragon is slain. That was not a dragon, that was a car. Find some loot in the wrecks. 12 fuel, 54 parts. And the knight approaches your convoy and thanks you for your assistance. Uh, now what? The knight looks thoughtful, then explains he had never really thought about what to do after his quest had finished. Since you've been noble enough to aid his quest, he offers his services to your convoy. What do you got for me? Give me a moment, I shall construct my own vehicle from the remains of this dragon. That's amazing. I'm taking that. I'm sorry, you're great and all, but he made, I mean, look at that. He made something out of a dragon and it's got 60 armor, which is more than anything else I have. Okay. So sorry, Farot, you're out. Sorry. It's just the way of things. I'm going to abandon the machine gun. Does that actually do any armor damage? No, it doesn't. So I don't care about it. Abandon it. Confirm. That's a way to end an episode, I think. Thank you very much for your time. Note the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly, and I'll see you all next time.